with Hurricane Lee, a category one storm that has a lot of good circulation around it and not a lot of interference, not a lot of upper level wind shear, no Saharan dust to slow it down or suppress it. So this is expected to become a major hurricane by at least Friday night with 140 mile power winds late Friday at Cat 4. And look at that Saturday evening, 155 mile per hour winds, just two more and that makes it a cat five. So zooming in here and showing you that on Monday evening, still a cat four and about 1100 miles away from our coastline. But Monday it is expected to take a turn to the north and that's what we're all waiting on and that's what all models suggest. We're also watching a 70% chance of this unorganized development off the coast of Africa to get organized and then develop into something. And uh, we're not really concerned about that one. Not overly concerned about Lee, but still something of that magnitude anywhere near the Atlantic coastline is just kind of like, all right, we need to watch this. High pressure and control. The rain that we're forecasting coming up is from the front. It's not from the tropics. And you can see some storminess still in Mississippi at this hour, kind of pushing out ahead of that front. And that's what we can expect tomorrow evening. Fair and fair, a first alert live radar on a slow sweep, picking up some ground clutter Thursday morning. We're not going to have any 60s out there. It has been so nice the past couple of mornings. So everybody's in the same boat, about 71 to 72, a little bit warmer for the islands. And as we head through the day, a little more moisture in the air. The dew points a little higher at 3 o'clock, 94 could feel like 99. Your forecast high south of the Altamaha, 94 Alma, Jessup, 95 Rincon, 93 Statesboro, 95 Savannah and Beaufort, 91 Hilton Head, 93 in Hampton. So we start the day. This is 7 a.m. with a mix of sun and clouds. As we head through the day, those clouds push off the coast. A little bit more sunshine by 5 o'clock. We're still fine. It's late day showers and storms west of I-95 that could pulse up. I think this is overdoing it, but at least we do have a chance of rain in the app for south of the Altamaha early Friday overnight and then Friday morning we're dry. Then afternoon showers and storms start to, start to pulse up because that front slows down and sits over the coastal empire and low country for our Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Not a complete washout and then we're back in the upper 80s for the majority of the seven day.